Good morning, friends. Happy to have you this morning, and I welcome you for the celebration of this Holy Eucharist. Today, during this Holy Eucharist, let us pray for the fullness of life for Jack Grimes. And let us also bring before the Lord all our intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Friends in Jesus Christ, today the Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast of St. Thomas the Apostle. Traditionally speaking, St. Thomas went to India, and especially southern part of India, and he gathered the people mostly around the coastland and baptized them. And it is said that there he was martyred. Today, as we celebrate the feast of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us also pray for the, our, our people here, our parishioners, that God may be with us. And just like St. Thomas proclaimed, my Lord, my God, we may have a strong faith, strong belief in Jesus Christ, that he is our Lord and God. Having said that, let us confess all our sins and failures so that this holy living sacrifice may become the worthy one. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Yes. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. Grind Almighty God, that we may glory in the feast of the blessed Apostle Thomas, so that we may always be sustained by his intercession, and believing may have life in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, whom Thomas acknowledged as the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out, Go out to, the to all the world and, and tell the good news. news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the, the whole world, world and, and tell, tell the, the good, good news. news. For steadfast is his kindness for us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go, Go out to, to all, all the world and, and tell, tell the, the good, good news. news. Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Thomas called Didymus one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and he stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends in Jesus Christ, as we celebrate to today the feast of the St. Thomas the Apostle, let us reflect upon this short phrase. 
When Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord, my God. On the Easter day, Thomas was with, not with them when Jesus appeared to his friend, his apostles, and all others. And when they reported to him that we have seen Jesus, he didn't believe. Thomas represents many of us, the human being. And it is natural, in fact, to ask, how can a dead man come back? It is impossible. A normal human being will believe that nobody will come. And so far, nobody has come up from the dead. And so also, Thomas said, I don't believe. After a week later, Jesus again showed himself, and Thomas was with them, and we know the story. He exclaimed when he, believed, when he saw him and believed, my Lord, my God. Friends, in Jesus Christ, this reveals the mystery of faith. When he said, my Lord and my God, this is short of phrase revealed the mystery of faith, that Jesus is the Son of God, and he is resurrected, and he is alive. This is the great mystery, in fact. And he proclaimed. And so also, my dear friends, we believe that he is reason. He is the Son of God. And we encounter him every moment of our life. Whether you believe or not, whether you experience or not, we encounter him. And again, when you go through this short passage, today's gospel, the last sentence speaks very beautifully. It says, Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Is there anyone here sitting who have seen Jesus physically? We have not seen him. I have also not seen him. But I believe. How blessed are we? We all of us are so blessed that we have seen Jesus, not physically, but spiritually. How blessed are we? And that is the reason today, this morning, we have gathered here, that I want to encounter Jesus. I have encountered him. And again, whenever we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, we encounter him, we receive Jesus. How blessed are we? How nice to sit with the Lord. Today, during this Holy Eucharist, my dear friends, let us ask him, he, though he is inviting us, he is inviting everyone, come and sit with me. I want to talk to you. I want to dine with you. And let us not be non-believers, but let us be the believer. Let us ask him, the Lord, increase my little faith. Kindly stand up for the prayer of the faithful. We humbly place our needs before our faithful God this day. For Pope Francis, successor to the apostles, may he be filled with his spiritual gifts and graces as he continues to preach the gospel to all. Let us pray to the Lord. For our elected officials and all who serve them, may God protect them from all evil in the exercise of their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. For those dealing with doubts and anxieties, may God's gift of peace rest in their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all gathered here today, may the Holy Spirit pour out upon us his gifts to increase and strengthen our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 
Lord, my daughter. For those who have died in the light of faith, may they see their Lord and God face to face this day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, my daughter. Gracious and loving God, hear the prayers we offer you today for the sake of the Lord. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For, for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We render you, O Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep safe your gifts in us, as we honor the confession of the apostles and Thomas, and offer you a sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory 
us without and we acclaim. Holy, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sabo ascended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that parting the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope and Michael of Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially Jack Grimes. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Son Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Thomas the Apostle, Saint Francis of Assisi, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace nowadays, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grind us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, soul of Christ. And bid me come unto thee, that with all thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, as we truly receive in this sacrament the body of your only begotten Son, Grant, we pray, that we may recognize him with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deeds and by our life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 